You are now in the court of O'Neill, King of Ireland. Hey guys, welcome to Crusader Kings. I am Sifa Cat, and Ireland is at war with itself. Uh, it's a war that, as the King of Ireland, I feel that I am not going to win. But I've got to try. I have to try. So I've got a couple of ideas. First idea, hang on, let, my, get, let me get my book, because people were giving me ideas, and I really appreciate that. Okay, the Triple J suggested call in England. Mm, can't do that, because I don't actually have an alliance with England. I don't know how they keep calling me into their wars, but I don't have an alliance with England. I don't know how they manage that. Uh, mass and attack one, uh, one at a time. I don't really have the force for that, and I'm going to lose my mercenary soon. And capture the faction leader, that came from Harlequin. Uh, unfortunately, again, I just don't have the forces for that. Or assassinate my sister. In fact, that's actually a good choice. Let's try and do that. So, it's unlikely this is going to work, but I have to try. Because if, if she dies, then that kind of cuts off any sort of power they have to... The war pretty much ends because the claimant is dead. So let's try for that. I honestly don't know if that's going to work, but... At this point, we have to try anything, don't we? Uh, actually, how much money would you need to? No, you're not gonna. You're not even able to accept my money. Makes sense. It's worth a shot. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna be something I could probably do easily. That's fine. I mean, we've got other plans. We've got other ways to be able to uh, win this. Secondly, another plan I've got is let's marry off my children now before shit really hits the fan. So I've had a look at this already, and the best choice, and this is going to sound kind of weird, is actually the Duchess of Croatia. Duchess of Croatia. Uh, it's miles away, I know, but she's got a nice plot of land down here, like these three provinces here. Uh, will she be able to hold it for the time that she is there? I don't know. But if she doesn't, I can always break the betrothal and work it out later. So we're going to go with the Duchess of Croatia. Meanwhile, we're going to marry, try and marry off my daughters to people equally powerful. So, one goes to the Prince of Scotland. Do I think he will uh, reign as king? No, not really. But i got to try. And the other, who's age zero, so it's probably not helping, uh, can go for... Let's go for a prince of the Holy Roman Empire. He's a hunchback, but, you know, it's probably okay. No. Prince of France. Let's go for a prince of France. So again, do I see anything coming from these? Not really. But hey, let's get started. Let's start watching the inevitable demise of Ireland. Well, it won't die, actually. Worst case situations, I go back to being the Duke of Ulster. And that's okay, because I've got other things in the wings that will assist me with that. It's, if I lose, then political machinations become a much more important thing. Alright, great. So, I'll still get this, not a lot of money, but that's fine. I wasn't getting a lot of money since uh, Queen Annabla the first died, so that's alright. Uh, let's pause that for a second. Can we have a better leader? Oh, I just thought of another way we can possibly do well on this. What if, hypothetically, I had my king lead a force? Just a small force, just 113 men. But if he was to die, that would probably end the claim as well. I don't know, I'm making an assumption here that this will work. I'm not sure, but let's give it a shot. So my goal here is hopefully... To crush this force and capture someone. That's the goal. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to happen. I'm not even sure if we're going to win. But by gods we've got to try. That's a line I'm using a lot at the moment. By gods we have to try. We're trying a whole lot of risky things now. Just because we have to do something to keep those mercenaries on our side. Okay well the king didn't die in that fight. That's okay. Do we get someone captured? That we can ransom off for more mercenary time. No, we do not. Ah, that sucks. Okay, another plan. We can assault this holding. They've only got 119 men, so we should be able to assault it by the time... Yep. 
So we're just going to assault it. We're going to lose a few men in the process. Not a lot, I don't imagine. But it'll give us more money, and it'll help our war score a little bit. It gave us no money. Okay, well that's the opposite of how much money I wanted to see there. Uh, meanwhile, I think I might chase down these men. Just anything that gives me a little bit more time with my mercenaries is what I'm after. Because this mercenary force is just amazing. <laughs> I cannot afford to lose it. So we're against a mere here. He's not worth a lot, but... You know, it's okay. It's pushing up our war score a little bit. Oh! Oh, we got someone. Who did we get? Someone who's only worth about 10 gold. Look, that's, that's fine. I wish to ransom him if possible. He's, it's not possible to ransom him. Because no one really cares. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Alright, so we've got another month or so with the mercenaries. Uh, it's going to be cutting it close. It's not going to be cutting it close. It's going to be cutting it... No, it's not, it's not happening. But, you know, we can't just be sad about the situation. We have to keep fighting. It's really what it comes down to. Can we capture someone this time? I am hopeful. Or maybe the king will die. I'm also hopeful for that. It's sad when I'm hopeful that I will die. That's a bad state of affairs when that starts happening. Uh, no capturing. That's fine. We'll keep chasing them down. How much is he costing per month? Eight. Alright, this might be the last chance we have. Oh, that's good. No, we have to get rid of these mercenaries now. We've done what we could with them, but as it stands, we can't hire them any longer. We just don't have the money for them. Alright, so that reduces our numbers by quite a significant amount, and I guess we'll just go try to capture Ulster. That's all we've got left. Okay. Holy Orders! No, we can't get the Holy Orders. Doesn't matter anyway, they're off doing something else with Pisa. What are they doing with P What's Pisa doing? I know this is not important right now, but... Oh, okay, they're in an embargo war with an empire. Jeez, okay. Pisa's uh, grown strong, apparently. Alright, well, might as well accel accelerate time. There's not much I can do until then. Uh, my bastard nephew has become a tough soldier. Excellent. A little bit late, but excellent nonetheless. I mean, there is multiple ways I can get back into the Kingdom of Ireland. Like, Ireland is not going to be... You know, it'll come back to me. I'm not concerned that I'm going to lose Ireland forever. That's not happening. I will gain Ireland in some... way. I wonder, my bastard nephew... Let's see if we can find him again. Where is he? No, my bastard nephew was the child of you. Can we do something to get a... No, I can't get an alliance with a bastard. Makes sense. Yeah, and you can't marry a bastard outside of a matriarchal marriage because it doesn't work that way. There's got to be something I can do with this bastard. No, there's not really much I can do. Because he's a bastard. Well, that sucks. Alright. He could marry another bastard. Or... No, there's actually not much else he could do. Well, that sucks. <laughs> well, that sucks is pretty much going to be the underlying tone of this episode, I feel. Oh, where are you guys going? You guys marching up there? I don't know why those guys are marching up there, but I might go and meet them. Yeah, let's, let's go and meet them with our tiny, tiny force. That's 200 men. That, that's actually not worth going to meet them. They're actually sieging it as well. That's funny. Because that place is so weakened and it's been taken over like three times. Uh, their leader is someone with no actual titles or claims or anything really. 
Well, we're going to get the Barony of Ulster very soon. Uh, right, and my first daughter is now of age to be educated. Educated in diplomacy. Diplomacy is very key right now. Yep. If I wasn't in Civil War, I'd probably have some, a local lord educate her, but as it turns out, that doesn't matter because all the local lords are against me. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to capture the capital of Ulster. Ah, oh, they're going after that place. They're not going after my capital, which I'm okay with. Oh, wait, here they come. Oh, come on, give me like one more day. Hey, now we lose a uh, major battle. Which I've got my king on the flank. Maybe he'll die there. Maybe he'll die there. Okay, we don't have anyone else doing any sort of stupid claims against Ireland at the moment. No, we don't. Okay, that's good. That's always a concern that someone will be doing a claim somewhere in Ireland while there's a civil war going on. I've benefited from that more than once, uh, mostly in Scotland. And I don't really want that to continue. Alright, yep. That was pretty much the rest of my army. Great, the peasants are now thinking about revolting. Now of all times. Uh, okay, no, it's fine, it's fine. We've got to suppress those revolts quite urgently, in fact. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're just letting this war finish. There's no reason to continue. There's no real reason to continue it. We can't win this war, but we've got to keep fighting it just to... Oh, another daughter. Great. Uh, we've got to keep fighting it just in hopes that something will change in my situation. Maybe the queen... Well, maybe the queen apparent? No. I don't know what title it is, but maybe the person who's claim this is will die in the process or maybe they'll fall down a well that'd be good maybe they'll fall down a well how much would it cost to assassinate you 350 gold uh, I don't have that sort of money not even close all right they're just chasing down my forces now that's thank you uh, experience in war. I wish to focus on heavy infantry. That seems to be a very Irish thing. Uh, that's a whole bunch of siege notices. Yay. Okay. Well, okay, we're losing every fight there. Look, maybe she'll die at the age of 31. Maybe she'll get sick and just die that way. That would be unfortunate. Well, let's accelerate time, because I can't do anything in this. Uh, yep, well done, brigands. Hey, they're taking back Ulster. Uh, someone has arrived in my court. They are mostly useless. Cool. Uh, a son was born to you. Excellent. That's good, I suppose. I mean, that's yeah, good. I'm not... Actually, can I do any sort of marriages with those? Range by rank. Oh, that's my newest daughter. No, there's no reason to marry that way. I wonder, actually. Your son. I can't do that because we're at war at the moment, but... That's something I may try and do afterwards. I don't think it's going to work. I really don't because he's the first heir, but... Come on. Die, sister. Die by falling over a horse. I don't know, just... I can prestige your claims. Well, okay. 
Wait, what happened to Gwyn? Did Gwyn fall out of the war? No? I, I don't know why I can prestige your claims. I mean, I'm already at war with him, so... I don't know why it's saying impress claims when I can't. Oh well. Go time! Let us see what will happen in this war. Can I raise any sort of real forces? I can raise a 1,600 men. Then 1,600 men we shall raise. And we will take them down to Kildare and maybe we'll be able to break some shit down there. It's the constant hope. Maybe we can do something. It's constant fear that I can't, but I've got to try. I mean, if you don't try, you'll never succeed. We know this. Well, I'm gathering, gathering a lot of money fairly quickly. So who knows, maybe something will happen that'll allow me to hire mercenaries and fight this back again. I mean, if I could get more mercenaries, I mean, maybe I'd have a chance again? I don't, I don't really know, I don't think so, but... The war is far from over, my friends. The longer we can prolong this war, the longer the chance they're going to lose it. Or something. No, here they come. They're coming back again. Are they coming for me? Where are they going? They're going to Oriel. No, they're coming for me. Okay, let's get out of there. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to be a bit of an annoying prat here. And we're going to get the boats. And we're going to sail them down to Desmond. <laughs> okay, you run down to Desmond. It's fine. Are they going to make it? First of March? Yeah, they're going to be... Oh shit, they're only two days ahead. Actually, no, they're, they're fine. Yep, okay. So they're going to march all the way down to Desmond, and they're going to chase us all the way. Great, and we're going to make it. <laughs> if you ever want to go whoop, 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 this is the time. This is the time to whoop, 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 whoop. Oh shit, don't don't hold me up. Okay, great. Now, then we get on the boats. <laughs> and then I don't know where we go. Okay, then we go back up to Ulster. They don't know what to do. I've confused them. And we get the men back out at Ulster. Oh shit, we lost another land. It's fine. My wife is pregnant again. Well, that's good. That is good. Uh, let us marry the Holy Roman Emperor's son. We're just trying to get alliances while we're still strong. That's one of my goals. Oh, shit. How do these Ulsterites get here? Actually, stuff. Let's fight them. I'm going to go park those boats down there. Am I going to get there in time? Probably not. No. They're going to get away. Okay, so my navy is just being an annoying deterrent right now. Not even a deterrent, they're just being annoying. Eighteenth, you're gonna get away. Between of April, this is probably a bad idea. Where's my navy? It's up there. Okay, let's see if we can scout over here. See if there's perhaps like a major force coming in. Yeah, they're coming in to kill deer. This is actually a bad idea. I can't afford to do this. Not now. Let's go back to Ulster. Actually, can I... I need to reduce the size of this fleet a little bit to... Uh, 
15, no, I need 16 boats. 16 boats. Uh, 17 boats? You know what? That's fine. It's close enough. Unless it's something with 6. Oh, wait, no, I can get 6 that way. You go 3 and 3. 3 and 3 is 6. That's fine. So I'm not getting a lot of money while I'm doing this boat trick, but I am hopefully delaying the inevitable. Because if I can delay the inevitable long enough, it doesn't become the inevitable, it comes the didn't happen. And that is my truest goal here. Okay, they're coming for me. They're doing this again. Let's get out of there. <laughs> ah, boat tricks. Oh, now they're just attacking Oriel. Well, there's not much I can do about that. Aside from invading Ormond, yes! Maybe they won't like Ormond being invaded. They don't seem to give too much of a damn. Okay. It's okay, we've, we've been doing this for a while, maybe she will die. Maybe someone will else be on my side with the plots. No one else is on my side of the plots. I would really like to charge into that main force, but it sounds like a bad idea. It sounds like a bad idea because it is a very bad idea. Uh, let's just ban this so we can get more money. We're kind of getting to the place where we can hire mercenaries again. I mean, I... That's still a bad idea, but if we could do it, I mean... Uh, church preaches celibacy... You know what? I'm going to try some pleasures just to get my fertility up. High fertility is probably good. Uh, how much do I need? 350 to kill my sister. Actually, hang on. How much would it cost me to kill the Earl of Ulster? 150. I have a plan. I just need to get money. I don't know if I can get enough money in time, but... If I can... And I can assassinate the Earl of Ulster... Does no one really want this guy? Come on. Someone has to want him. <laughs> Maybe someone will die and leave me an inheritance. That would be good too. All my plans at the moment revolve around someone dying. No, I can't kill my little... I can't kill my little daughter. That's just not something that's happening. I'm going to lose money when Oriel falls, though. The part where I said, hey, I need to save up money, that's the part where I should have saved up money. But I didn't. Okay, assassination was probably a very good idea if I'd thought about it much sooner. Which, sadly, I didn't. But... For future reference, assassination is probably a good idea. Yeah, I'm down another 116 gold. Oh, 16 gold, rather. Oh, I really want this to happen. If this happens, I'll be so happy. I mean, it's going to be 150 gold and it may not succeed, but... I've got to try, right? I've got to try. I'm just going to keep losing gold too fast. This war's going to be over. Ah! All my monies. The fact that they're double sieging me doesn't help either. 
Hey, I'm back to 102. I'm still at 102. I'm at 84% in this war. Maybe. My wife is pregnant again. Excellent. It's going to make it very difficult to switch the main line over to the queen, though, but... Unless, of course, she changes the law, which... I can't be a war for this. Okay. <laughs> I was going to try something sneaky there. Alright. No, it's... This is not happening. Now I'm just... I'm 20 gold off. There's got to be a way to get this money. There has to be a way. Okay. Twenty gold off. There's got to be a way to get this money. Oh my god, there has to be a way to get this money. Uh, someone's probably yelling at me right now, I know. They're like, ah! Use the kitten device! The kitten device! And I'm like, I don't know what the kitten device is, guys. I don't know. So, I don't know what the kitten device is. I really don't. I don't know what you're saying. Uh, educate. I need someone who has high stewardship, I would imagine. You are pretty good. You got some good traits as well. Ambitious is not a trait I would like, but... Is there an intrigue thing that gives me money? Can I ask someone for money? Does anyone want these ransom guys? No. I think you. C no one can give you this ransom because you just don't have the money for it. Wait, 125? How much is uh, ransoming you worth? 145. Could I send you a gift of 26, then ransom? Well, look, here's a dumb idea, guys, but I'm going to try it. I do this. I give you 26 gold. Then you now have enough gold to release yourself from prison. <laughs> for 145 gold. If this works or fails, I, this is actually going to be the end of the episode. But... If this works, it'll be fucking hilarious. Okay. No! No, 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 no! No, no! You can't refuse this! You cannot refuse this! He spent the gold. He spent the gold! Okay, that's fine. I'm going to send you a gift. We're going to do this again. I honestly don't care anymore. How much gold do you have? You have... 128 gold. Okay. You bastard... Have more of my gold. Now I'm going to ransom you to yourself. And this time, don't spend the frickin' gold. Holy shit, this is cutting it super close. Okay. He's accepted this. Now I have one chance. One chance. I'm going to point the best spy master I have, which is this guy. Uh, you're forbidden from leading armies. You are going to... Uh, how do I increase likelihood of assassinations? Build spy network. And where is the... Uh, Okay, can I build a spy network in a different place? So, are you an Ulster? This is important. Actually, I don't think this is going to work on hindsight, because the leader has already changed. But then I'm not really thinking this is going to work at all, but fuck it, he's going to die. It's got to be her that dies, doesn't it? Damn it. Shh. 
No. The Red Hand of Ulster demands that you die regardless. 29% chance of success. Uh, yeah, this isn't going to work at all, is it? Uh, you are in Ulster, okay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. this... Okay, and we'll go for it. He's dead, but it didn't actually change the course of the war. All we did was just kill a child. There was really no reason for that. Not really. Just vengeance, really. You know what? Uh, let's just finish this war. Let's just finish it. Hang on. I can try to call in Sweden again? Let's try calling in Sweden again. No, Sweden's not joining. And that is the game, I believe. That, yep, there we go. <sighs> Alright, so we are now Duke of Ulster once more. Bugger. Well, we fought well, we tried some things, people were assassinated. But ultimately, we lost. I have other plans, though. Oh yes, I have other plans. But first, I must leave jail. How much will it cost me to leave jail? 145. Well, I can earn that fairly soon. Okay, guys. Don't worry. I have other plans, and they're going to be brilliant. I'm going to kill her son the plan I've got. It's going to work. And I'll see you guys next episode. This is not over. Not over by a long shot.